Welcome back to another episode where we're studying for the 2022 to 2026 technician level exam. This is going to be technician element one, sub element Bravo. And there are about 13 questions from here. Again, this section is all about memorization. So which of the following frequency ranges are available for phone operation by technician licensees? The correct answer is 28.3 to 28.5 megahertz. And that falls within the range of what your license allows you to operate. And if we go check out the band plan for the technicians, looking over here, you can see the 10 meters you have actual operation from 28 to 28.5 megahertz. The voice is right there. And then in the red, that is a digital or CW as outlined by the uh, band plan for technicians. So headed back to the um, exam, we will continue on so inside of the uh, next question it says which amateurs may contact the International Space Station on VHF bands that is any amateur holding a technician class or higher license so if you want to go out there and point something to the sky and see if you can contact the space station or make contacts through the space station you can which frequency is in the six meter amateur band? Now for six meters, you do need to know that six meters ranges from 50 megahertz all the way up to 54 megahertz. It has a huge space and technicians are allowed access in the whole thing. Which frequency is it? So I just said it's between 50 and 54 and your only choice is 52.525 so make sure you check out 52 that falls between 50 and 54 now we're going to two meters which amateur band includes 146.52 which is the national simplex calling frequency two meters is in that 144 to 148 range so if you look back here you can see that the two meters goes from 144 to 148 and that also falls within the technician allowable band two meters is your answer for that one how many amateurs use the 219 Oh, so uh, says how may amateurs use the 219 to 220 megahertz segment of the 1.25 meter band? That is fixed digital message forwarding systems only, and that is most likely by a gentleman's agreement. And I do have a copy of the HF gentleman's agreement right here. Just take a look at it. This only goes to 10 megahertz or sorry uh, 10 meters and there are others if you want to look higher you can find most of that on the AWRL's website if it's there um, an other Google search you could probably Google search and find that information on which HF bands does a technician class operator have phone privileges we just discussed this 10 meters is the only band that a technician has phone privileges in HF. Six meters is considered VHF because it's above 30 megahertz. Which of the following VHF UHF band segments are limited to CW only? The correct answer, it's that six meters and two meters. And if you go back and look at that band plan again, band plan again you'll notice that at the very beginning there's the white with the squiggles the white with the squiggles means that that is CW only so we'll go back to our exam 
and go over the rest of what's left. So we are now on technician element one, sub element Bravo. Question number eight. How are U.S. amateurs restricted in segments of bands where the amateur radio service is secondary? And that says U.S. amateurs may find non-amateur stations in those segments and must avoid interfering with them. So technicians shouldn't have access to those secondary bands, which is 30 meters, 60 meters. Those are two that uh, immediately come to mind when we think about that, uh, that we're sharing those particular frequencies. Why should you not set your transmit frequency to be exactly at the edge of an amateur band or sub band? It says all these choices are correct. There could be a calibration error with your frequency on the display of your radio. The modulation of your sideband should not extend beyond that edge. We do not want to cross over. So if you're at 28.5000, that is upper sideband. So if you're on 28.500, you might transmit as high as 28.503. That's out of your allowable band plan. And then frequency drift. Most rigs have some form of frequency drift. It depends on who made it, how old it is, and such. So let's go look back at the band plan again really quickly. And if I pull this picture up, if I can find this picture. So 10 meters, you can see at 28.500 you do not want to operate SSB on that frequency because it's going to put you out of your range. At 28.300, you can maybe operate safely, but I would not. At 28.300, you might extend accidentally into the CW portion only. And you can operate CW in the SSB portions, but CW and digital needs to be contained down here in the 28 to 28.300. And be careful about operating directly on 28 megahertz because CW does have bandwidth, although narrow, but you might sneak off into the 27.999 megahertz range and then you're out of your band plan and out of your operating range, all of our operating range. So be very careful with that. And that is why we're studying these. So we have a couple left. This one is question 10. Where may single sideband phone be used in amateur bands above 50 megahertz? Well, there is a section in almost, or in all of these bands, in at least some segment. So again, that goes back to going to check out the gentleman's agreement or where those are allowed. And that is your answer is C for element one, sub element Bravo, question number 10. For your HF fun, what is the maximum peak envelope power? And that peak envelope power is the peak power that comes from your rig for technician class operators in their HF band segments. The correct answer is 200 watts. And looking back at your band plan, you can see where these blue squares are for 80 meters, 15 meters, and 40 meters. You have, as a technician, the, the ability to operate Morse code, but it is limited to 200 watts. Now, you do not have to know Morse code to take the test. That, that is no longer a limitation or a um, requirement to get your technician exam, but learning Morse code is fun. It is a challenge. And I started when I was a technician trying to learn Morse code, and I encourage it, even for newbies. Okay, 
We're on question 12, and this is the last question in this section. Except for some specific restrictions, what is the maximum peak envelope power? Again, remember, peak envelope power is what is coming out of a radio or out of your amplifier. For the technician class operators using frequencies above 30 megahertz, so that's VHF, UHF, and so forth, and you do have 1500 watts. You're allowed 1500 watts at that point. So that is the end of the technician one, element one, sub element B. There are 12 questions that you've got to know the answer to. So I'm Rob, W1RCP. We're studying together, and I hope that this is helpful to you. Thanks, and come back. If you missed uh, any previous episodes or looking forward to future episodes, they'll show up in a playlist studying for the 2022 to 2026 amateur technician exam. 73, y'all.